from your title, I think you are taking us into the zoo. It's uh, about the elephant. Please come to the stage. You are the last one in the row. Um, I think we have to be patient. To have the last presentation is always, I think, the greatest challenge. Thank you very much, Lutz. Please, it's yours. So thank you for a nice introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, in my presentation today, I would like to speak about industrial vision. But Dieter and Thomas gave me only 12 minutes. So I concentrated my speech only on the coin and bank market. The need to cut off a part of the industrial. And also, I would like to shorten the part of the vision. And oh, that's perfect, still remains in Lewis. So I can give you some information about a company which I know very well. The company in Lewis was founded in January 2013 from Mr. Jörg Müller and myself. Later, Michael Kölmann and Jonas Auerswald joined the team. Coming to our vision solutions. The headline of my presentation the elephant, more than an animal, needs some words of explanation. I remember when I gave this headline to Dieter and Thomas, they immediately replied to me and asked if I have a position as a zoo director. I'm not a zoo director. Elephant is our name for a new high-speed sorting machine in which we're using the 3D technology. The main focus of this machine is a simple operation combined with a high-performance camera system as well as an extremely reduction of the rejected coins and blanks. Only bad coins or blanks have to be rejected and all good coins must still remain in the process flow. First of all, I would like to explain in simple words the two main techniques for a camera-based 3D picture. In the stereo camera method, two cameras are making at the same time a picture of the same scene but in a different angle to the objects. With this method, high-resolution matrix cameras are used with a high-performance LED lighting. The two stereoscopic pictures from the cameras have to be combined into one information. We know the distance between the two cameras, and we know the distance to the objects in the back, and we know the angle of view. By building the disparity, we know the distance between the red ring and the blue rectangle in that direction. What does it mean for the coin industry? For example, we can use this technology in a step-by-step -step process, as we have it often for the production of the numismatic coins or medals. Another method is a laser triangulation. In this case, the laser is used as a homogeneous light source with a very thin laser line along the field of view. The camera is also a matrix camera, but used as a line scan camera. Each line of the laser will be a line information for the camera. The lines will be combined in the computer to a full 3D picture. The Z information is coming from the different points where the laser hit the object. As we know the angle between the laser and the camera, and we know the distances, we can calculate the height differences between the individual points. This method is typically used in a constant transport system. What we will have, for example, in the production of the circulation coins or blanks. But now I would like to come from the theoretical methods to an existing project, what we have with the 3D inspection unit. In this case, I'm talking about a sorting unit for blanks and or coins. Both is possible with the same machine and a high throughput. First of all, the name of the system, Elephant. 
Everyone is now thinking, why do they call it elephant? But it is easy. If we look to the characteristics of an elephant, what are the main insights? It is power, wisdom, long life, intelligence, brilliancy, and fortune. What do we expect from a high-speed sorting system? In my point of view, we expect more or less the same characteristics as from the elephant. Power. A stable system which can run under all kinds of conditions with a high throughput. Wisdom. A very simple operation interface for a high technology system. Long life. The words are standing for themselves. Intelligent. The system knows what the operator needs in his particular situation. Make it simple to operate. Brilliancy. It doesn't matter what kind of circumstances the material has. The system has an answer. And fortune. All companies which are using our sorting machine will have the best luck for their projects. But this is something I will not guarantee if you buy one of all the sheets. What are the benefits of the 3D inspection system? My first sample is a 2D picture of a blank with scratches all over. You see a scratch at the top and a dent in the middle. Which one is deeper? And the main question is, must this blank be rejected because of these two defects? With a 2D system, it is impossible to give an answer. But with our solution, you can measure the depth. Here you see the blank in a grayscale picture with only the height information of each pixel. The scratch at the top of the blank has a maximum depth of minus 8 micron. And I talked to some masters that it is possible to leave this kind of defects with a good material. Because during the stamping, the scratch will disappear. The dent in the middle has a maximum depth of minus 24 micron. And this is the reason why it has to be rejected. Much better is the next picture. Here we see a 3D model where you easily see the differences in the depth because of the differences in the color. So with our solution, one of the biggest plus points is the measurement of the depth. With the software, it is possible to set a limit, for example, minus 10 micron. It means that all defects with a depth not bigger than minus 10 microns, could go to the good bin. And everything which has a depth bigger than minus 10 microns will be rejected. This function will reduce the reject rate extremely. We calculated that the total reject rate of a blank manufacturer can be reduced by 0.5% or more. Another benefit. The rim defect inside of the red ring can be seen in the 3D model very easily. You can also see it in the grayscale module. In the 2D picture, you can see nothing. What does it mean? With the common inspection system, you have no chance to find this kind of defects. With the 3D system, it will be no problem. The same procedure we can have with the grain and bubbles. If we look to the 2D picture, the question is, which one is the biggest, and can we leave this blank in the good material? And what about the bubbles near the rim? For a 2D system, it is more or less impossible to detect the thin bubble near the rim area. But with our 3D system, you can see it easily. In our example, you can see the big bubble with a height of 64 micron, and another example near the rim area with a height of 20 micron. And in the 3D model of the blank, the differences can be seen well. And you can imagine 
the detection of the bubble in the rim area will be no problem for us. As a conclusion of my speech, I would like to highlight the possible applications and its benefits by using 3D technology during the production of coins. First, there is the digitalization. The technology can be used as a digitalization system with the same resolution as the common laser point system, but much faster. For example, a model with a diameter of 200 mm can be scanned within 20 minutes instead of hours. Next one is verification. Our focus is to verify something with the original data. For example, it is possible to scan an overhauled working die with the original data of the master die to correct the position of the frosted area. Example. Measurements. If we go on at the die production, it is also supposable to check the depth of the engraved area of the working die inside of the engraving machine. We combine the 3D system with the laser control to correct the depth of the engraving. Inline inspection. Several solutions for an inline application are possible. It is possible to include the 3D system into existing machines or transport systems. For example, we can adapt our inspection station into a packaging machine. The coins will be checked and also classified into several classes, like waste, small defects, and perfect coins. And we have the offline sorting. Another area of operation is our elephant high-speed sorting machine. The machine will be very smart and simple. We just need two camera stations with only one camera inside. With these two cameras, we can check the dimension, thickness, diameter. And we can check the surface for scratches, bubbles and so on, as I explained before in the sample pictures. We can also check the color and the relief of coins. Everything with just two camera stations. No need for extra stations for thickness measurement, diameter measurements, color and so on. The result of this simplification is an easy transport system. And this will make the elephant machine very smart and easy to handle. Additionally, the software interface will be simple because of less components. You just have to set up two camera stations with only one camera each, and that's it. No complicated tracking, less sensors, no extra measurement stations, and so on. So we are following our principal KISS. Keep it simple and smart. At the end of my presentation, my invitation to you. I don't want to talk only about inspection technology. I would like to invite you to look and feel how simple inspection technology can be. Please visit us on our booth E26 to have a look to our 3D digitalization system or have a look to another application on the booth of company EMEA E25. So thank you for your attention.